I never thought I'd find myself in this position, but here I am, caught up in my wife's wild idea of fun. She somehow convinced me to be a contestant in the ridiculous womanless pageant. I mean, seriously, who would have thought? As I reluctantly donned the dress she picked out for me, I couldn't help but chuckle at how outrageous the whole situation was. The dress was way too frilly for my taste, and the wig she insisted on making me wear felt like a fuzzy animal was perched on my head. But I had to admit, the thought of getting bigger chests to fit the part was a little concerning, I mean, I didn't want to be disqualified as a natural girl. The idea of strutting around in front of an audience, attempting to act like a woman, was daunting to say the least. I felt like a fish out of water, and the thought of embarrassing myself in front of friends and strangers alike was mortifying. But deep down, I knew my wife had a mischievous glint in her eye when she roped me into this, and I couldn't resist her playful charm. It didn't take long for me to realize that winning this absurd contest might actually be in my best interest. I couldn't bear the thought of enduring my wife's triumphant gloating if I failed to bring home a prize. The threats of a shopping spree for a new wardrobe to practice with for next year were almost too much to handle. As the night of the pageant approached, I found myself practicing my womanly moves in secret. I watched tutorials, studied how women walked and talked, and even tried to mimic their mannerisms. It was like learning a new language, and I was determined to get it right. When the day of the pageant finally arrived, I took a deep breath and stepped onto the stage, wig in place and dressed in my absurd outfit. The lights were blinding, the crowd was raucous, and my heart pounded in my chest. But then something clicked, a mix of adrenaline and sheer determination, and I found myself performing with a level of confidence I never knew I had. To my surprise, the audience was eating it up. The laughter and cheers spurred me on, and I danced and pranced with a newfound grace that even I couldn't believe. When the judges announced the winner, I held my breath, hardly daring to hope. And then, the name, Alex, echoed through the speakers. I had actually won. The disbelief mingled with my pride, and as I accepted my crown, I couldn't help but share a knowing look with my wife in the crowd. She winked, clearly thrilled with her victory as well. As I stood there, the absurdity of the situation hit me once again. But this time, it was accompanied by a sense of accomplishment and the memory of a challenge embraced. Who would have thought that being a contestant in a womanless pageant could lead to such unexpected growth, both in chest size and in confidence?